If you've watched some of my other videos on Craft 3, then you may have already installed it and played with it a bit, but you're looking to see if you can upgrade an existing project to Craft 3. And that's what this video is going to cover. We are going to take a Craft 2 project, running the latest version of Craft 2, and upgrade it to Craft 3 latest beta. And the one we're going to use is Crafty Brewery. And this is the site that we build in my Craft courses. Up and Running with Craft is built uh, using this course as well as the Craft Commerce course. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and run it through the process of upgrading it to Craft 3. So, there are some steps we have to follow to make sure that everything goes as we planned. So, we have a little bit of a pre flight checklist that we need to go through first. And the first thing we need to do is confirm that any plugins we're using are available for Craft 3. And if you're watching this while the beta is still in progress, those plugins might not be available. So let's make sure that we have support for the plugins our site needs before we move forward. So the next thing we want to do is make sure that our server, whether that's local or on a remote server somewhere, supports Craft 3. But here's what we need to make sure we have for Craft 3. PHP 7.0 or newer. That's very important. Craft 3 requires PHP 7. MySQL 5.5 plus, a web server, of course, of three different flavors, Apache, Nginx, or IAS. We want to make sure we have enough memory allocated to PHP, minimum 200 megabytes of disk space, and of course, some, a database, enough database space. Now, since we're already running Craft, we know that we have probably enough PHP memory allocated. We definitely have enough disk space and we have enough database space. The main thing is PHP 7 MySQL 5.5 plus. Make sure you have your site running on a web server, which I'm pretty sure you probably already do. If you want to learn more about installing Craft 3 beta from scratch, check out my video on how to do that. But for now, we're going to move forward and start to update our Craft 2 site. Okay, the next thing we want to do is create a backup of our files and our database. So make sure you do that, even if it means just zipping up the directory. But if you're using Git version control, this is where you would want to create a new branch called maybe upgrade to Craft 3 or whatever it is to isolate those changes from your main master branch or dev branch or whatever you work on day to day. You also want to make sure that you do an export of the database, all of the database tables out into a file as a SQL file. And so you have that sitting off to the side. That way, if something goes wrong, or if you're just experimenting, you can always go back. What I like to do is just create a whole new database and point my site at that. And that way I can preserve the old one just as it is in place. All right, so with that done, we're now ready for the next step in upgrading to Craft 3. Craft 3 requires that we use Composer to install it. So that means now you need to make sure that you have Composer installed on your machine. If you don't, check out my video on installing Composer for Craft 3. If you don't have it installed, you can't move forward with the upgrade. So stop here, go watch that video, and then come back and continue. I already have Composer installed, so I'm ready to go, so we're going to move forward. All right, now we are ready to start the steps for the actual upgrade. Our pre-flight checklist is done. We have everything set up exactly as it needs to be. So step one is to create a composer.json file. And this file will hold the dependencies that our project requires, and Composer will use that to download them and install them into our project. So we need to create that Composer file ourselves. So we do that in the root of our project. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, and we'll call it composer.json. And in this file, we need to paste in some code. So what I'm dropping in here is the base configuration for Composer. And this just has some default properties, like minimum stability and the repositories that we need for our project. And of course, our first one is Composer. That's our base repository. So we'll save that. Now let's hop to the command line. And then in our project directory, you want to make sure you are in the root of your project directory, 
we need to now specify the dependencies that we want Composer to track. So we use the Composer command, and we say require craft CMS slash CMS, and we want to do 3.0.0 slash dash beta dot, and at this point, what you'll want to do is find out the latest beta release. And you can do this by going to the Craft CMS GitHub page and finding it. So if I go to github.com slash craft CMS, go to CMS, and I can look at the releases, you can see that the top release is beta 7. So we want it to be beta.7. We want to upgrade to the latest beta. That's going to update our dependencies. All right, and there we go. We have our dependency required, and it's been downloaded by Composer. Now we also want to require one more, which is craft CMS slash plugin installer, and we'll do that one. And now that's done as well. Perfect. So our next step now is to update the index.php file that is in the public directory. So in the public directory, there is this index.php file. We actually need to replace the entire contents of this file in order to upgrade to Craft3. Craft3 has a different requirement for this index.php file. The code for both this index.php file and for the composer base uh, JSON that we just put in a few minutes ago is available in the Craft3 documentation, which is also on GitHub. So we paste in this, and you can see it's a little bit different. We are now loading our Craft application via autoload and then via the vendor directory, because this is now where Craft, the application, is located and we'll save that. All right, now we're ready to hop into the browser and complete our upgrade. So if I go in here to my admin URL, we load that. Craft says, hey, we are in the middle of an upgrade. I see something new. In order to complete it, let's make the changes to the database. Now it's gonna run some scripts to upgrade the database, to migrate the data, to support Craft 3. And now it's all done. We need to log back in again. And there we are. We are now running Craft 3. And right down here at the bottom, we can see we are running Craft 3.0.0 beta 7. All right, there's one more thing we need to do, a little bit of cleanup. Back into our code, in our Craft directory, there is this app directory. This is where the craft application code used to live. It now lives under our project under vendor, right in here, along with the other dependencies for our site. So I can go into craft and then app and delete this entire thing. So we want to delete this. So if we look at our site, we see that everything is running as it should. Let me go to the front end of my site and reload. And there we go. Everything is looking good. We are running now just like we were before, except now we're running the latest version of the Craft 3 beta. Thanks for following along. If you want to learn more about Craft 3, you can follow along at majingo.com slash craft. I'm going to be doing a series of videos on the Craft 3 beta so we can look at all the major pieces features, additions, and improvements that are coming with Craft 3.